Hello everyone, thanks for being here. We're about to open a jewelry jar and we're gonna talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. <gasps> because actually guys, I am so happy you're here. I'm so happy you love jewelry the way I do and we can partake in it and look at it and talk about it. And if that's not your deal, that's okay. I've been getting a lot of um, hate energy call it energy because regardless it's it's love or it's hate it's still energy a lot of hate energy about the style of my videos I've been getting some love energy about my videos and both they're good it doesn't matter but people have been missing the ones where we're face to face too so I'm going to do some of those I'm going to do some recorded ones I'm going to do some of the regular ones that I do up close personal like we're doing right now and um, I hope that you guys enjoy that kind of video. That's the one I'm bringing you right now. And people have often requested that I sit and chat afterwards <laughs> also. Some people like even more chatty videos. So I don't know. We're going to just do what we do and see how it goes. I hope you enjoy them. Make sure I'm plugged in all the way around. I hope I am. We shall see. Because this microphone is some a little bit too heavy for it. So we'll see if it works. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for being here. This, oh, and more. More negative energy coming our way. We have been called selfish. <laughs> Let me know your... Every time I get a call, it's when I'm live. I don't know why. So, um, I, or will I have to start over? Let me know if you can see me, guys. In the chat, let me see who's here. Ro Rayanne is here. Joanna. You're laid in bed with a bad back. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But I'm glad the videos are entertaining. Hi, Miss Vanessa. Hey, Yvonne, how are you? I think it was Miss Kelly texting me. So uh, hopefully she knows I'm on live. Somebody needs to text her and let her know I'm on live. Because <laughs> I could not answer it. But everything is okay, guys. It didn't go black on us. Sometimes the screen goes black when I get a phone call. So. And Anna, yeah, so lot of um negative energy but it's okay it's all, all energy yeah people letting me know how much they dislike my chatty videos and um and that's okay i will do some recorded ones and i won't talk that much but today is extra special we're gonna chat we're gonna chat it up we're gonna chat it up it's okay and i may bring you the ones that are face to face someone like that one too so I love uh, feedback. It's just when it gets ugly that it's just not appreciated. Or when it gets kind of uh, like ridiculous, you know. Ridiculous things people say. This bad guy, I was also saying that people are giving us hate for picking up the jewelry jars. I'm sorry. I didn't know there was a limit. They were rationed, honestly. And let me tell you, I went to the thrift store today didn't realize they closed at six. They've, they've been changing their hours every five minutes. Didn't realize they closed at six. So I didn't get any today on my discount day. But the other day, I went at four o'clock in the afternoon. And there was four bags there. And no, I didn't say to myself, maybe I should wait and see if someone comes in the next hour and buys all the other ones. Or should I leave one or two? No, I grabbed all four. And if you can't deal with that, I'm sorry. That's just too bad. That's just too bad. <laughs> you know, some people just don't have anything else to say but call other people selfish just because they want to call people selfish. Why do you do that? I, I don't understand that. Anyway, look at the first thing that popped out of here, guys. It's a vintage sterling piece. It says Eddie something on it. That really sounds interesting. And look at that beautiful design. Oh, let me show you what I'm wearing before you ask. My husband did say, you know what? You should have the amethyst ring. 
<laughs> he's so funny. It fit him so nice, but it did fit him on his pinky. And I think he's more comfortable with rings other than a pinky. Uh, so he gave it back, and I'm so excited to wear it. I love this cabochon amethyst. Then I bought this one. I don't know what the symbol is. I don't see any kind of... I got this at an auction, too. Lots of nice sterling work on here, guys. It reminds me of something like off the Atosha or something, you know, the pirate, the sunken pirate ship or something. Doesn't it look like pirate money or something? I don't know. I just love it. I think it's so cool. I did shine quite a bit it was dark I don't like it that way when it's got a lot of this I usually leave some of that darkened part in there so that the rest of it can pop so I got that and then of course this one was a gift from a wonderful subscriber Miss Dodds and then of course you saw the carol on the other day so that's it all right let's see what else hey Miss Dawn how are you anyway yeah it's crazy guys People think, um, you know, if you take more than one bag, you're, you're being selfish. It was 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Why hadn't somebody else got them? They were already going to close in an hour or two. That was yesterday. Oh, and this bag was only $30. $29.99, just as big as the other ones. Now, they're not packed quite as, as tight as the other ones, so I think the other ones may have um more metal they were weightier they definitely this one probably weighs five pounds the other ones are weighing like seven. Oh, let me show you what i found in the other bag though that popped out and i'm hoping to find it in the 80 dollars bags i found a lapis a beautiful lapis lazuli with 14 karat posting on that and it's fully marked and tested uh, it does have a little bit of calcite i was researching some lazuli today and they were saying the most desirable, here we go with the chat part, guys. So if you don't like chat, you know where the exit is. But before you exit, be sure and hit that thumbs up anyway. Okay, be nice and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe and go ahead and hit the notification bell because I know you'll be back. Anyway, they say, they say that the one that has the white cloudiness is not as desirable as the one that would be solid blue, believe it or not. And second to most desirable, we'll have your pyrite, which is called fool's gold, as you know. So it almost looks like a gold speckle in there. But they say that it should actually have an even sprinkle of the gold speckles to make it even more desirable. And I have to show you that. Oh my gosh, is it here? Yes. Oh, I'll show it to you then. Oh my gosh, it's so chatty. Look at this specimen. I just got this one. I adore it. I see... Um, marcasite often, very often made with onyx. I have never seen one with with uh, lapis lazuli. And you can see that gold of um, sprinkling of that pyrite, but look, it fits my thumb. Gosh, I wish it would fit me. And I just, I mean, you could not even size that because look how the, the, um, what do you call it? The market site comes all the way down the sides. I love this. I think this is about a size 10. Because I think I wear a 9 or a 10 on my thumb. So excited to have it though. I could not believe I found that. Gorgeous. That was off of an eBay purchase there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Back to the jar. Wow, look at this thing. This is a $39 one, guys. Not bad. And I was really hoping to find a bag today because today would have been discount day. So I would have gotten everything for 20 about $20 off, off the dollar bags because that other Goodwill that I went to today, they charge $80 for their bags. But these I got uh, for $30. And I did buy what they had. I think they had four, three or four. I got them all. This is gorgeous, guys. I have seen lots of shell work, and usually they're, eh, they're all right. Meh. This one's pretty. I love the colors on this one. I think it's cool. And it's not overstretched either. Love the sound of shells. People do um, chimes with those shells because they make such a nice sound. This is pretty. Pink and green. Thanks, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. I do appreciate that. Joanne, how are you? 
People that complain about you being greedy or whatever are just jealous. Nobody complains about missing out on loaves of bread, right? And I do leave the bread. <laughs> but I am going to stock up tonight on some cab. I can tell you my daughter, I haven't gone to the, my, my red wine that I like to have occasionally. She said, Mom, you know that uh, Instacart, our store here, our spirits and whatever is specs. I said, no, I didn't know that. I'll have to check that out. Hey, Miss Lori, good to see you. So that's what I need to stock up on too. I think they may, I just, I haven't even had the desire to go to a grocery store. I was telling my daughter, I don't even feel like going. I know it's going to be a pain. I don't like to be bossed around and told which way to go down. I mean, it's bad, bad enough at the Goodwill. They tell you which way to go. They allowed, at the one I went to yesterday, they only allowed 30 people in, but they were so kind and so sweet. And I thanked them for being so nice because they're just amazing and people were being rude and, you know, whatnot. This is gorgeous, guys. It has the little spacers all through. It keeps it nice and taut there. And they are kind of an AB color. Oh, I put this one on. Remember we found this one in the last jar with the pearls? I thought that was cool. And I think that's carnelian in there. You are in California and you don't like wine? I, I like wine. This is cool. This is an interesting ring, guys. It has like a ceramic feel to it. Look at that. Like a little cut. The white stone on that. Or it's all part of the same material. That's interesting. And let me see here. This is from Macy's or Dillard's because I recognize that uh, proof of purchase thing. Do we have original price on here? I don't know, but this is really a cute bracelet. Very nicely made with your patriotic stars there. That's pretty. Very good condition, too. Red enamel. I like that. That's really nice. Okay, what else do we have? This is Timex Indigo. I think that means it glows in the dark. And is that a genuine leather? Yes, genuine lizard. I no, leather. So it's an embossed, but made to look like lizard or something. That's cool. What is this? So I'm hoping I find that other lapis. I really like it. It's very lightweight, too. All right, we have some kind of pirate jewelry here. I think it's probably costume or something. Another bangle. This is a nice metal. It's silver tone, but it's nice and weighty. Little bead balls all around. That's a nice design. So pretty. So pretty. But I understand people like different videos. That's fine. Everyone's different. Everybody's got their style. Some people don't like to chat, but some people have been asking me, stay and chat. Or we really like to chat, so we can chat today. There is a missing rhinestone here, guys. This is a nice bracelet, though. Very, very nice to have all stones in a rhinestone lot to replace other items that, that need repair work. And is this broken or not? Oh, this is pretty, too. Let me bring my little display so you can see how cute this is. This is, I believe, this is glass here. How did they knit that in there, guys? Looks like rope. Very cool with a mesh chain like this. Isn't that nice? Gun metal on the mesh. It's just kind of a little choker piece. Very nice. No marking on it. That's pretty. And here's another enamel bangle. This is so funny. I swear they share the jewelry in each Goodwill. I don't know why they have so many different prices, though. Because I got one with a... Is this a T or an L? There it is, an L. Because I got one with the letter M on it the other day, remember? And it was not from this store. It was from the $80 jars. Are these prayer beads? No, they're cute. Well, they could be, yeah. They're kind of like those prayer beads. This is pretty. But these are worn like bracelets because they're not the really long ones. I've seen everybody wear these like bracelets. 
Okay, what is this? A big fat watch. Hmm, Relic. Relic, that's a good brand, I guess. It's a department store brand. I think they sell Relic at Macy's. At least they do the bags. I don't know. It's two nowadays. It's a big one. It says Relic Wet. So it is safe underwater a few feet there. Hey, Doug, how are you? Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Oh, look at this. This is like a gentleman's ring. <laughs> that is interesting. Size 16? 19. I think these are European sizes or Asian sizes or something. And um, it's just enamel. Some rhinestones. Well, that's interesting. That can play a couple of rolls a couple of nights out on the town, right? Until it starts turning on you. Hi, Joby. Welcome. Oh, we got some of these. Good. This, this will go in the hippie lot. In my hippie beach bum lot. Did you guys ever know any beach bums? I used to live in Corpus and we knew a lot of people that love that beach life. That's all they cared about. Fishing and sun tanning and surfing. Well, this is a bookmark. I That's what it looks like to me. That's a heart. Make a bad pendant. Okay. And some black earrings here. Vanessa, did I say hi to you? I think I did. If I didn't, I'm so glad you're here. Vanessa, sleepy. I know my, my videos make people sleepy, too. They make me sleepy, too. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be watching them just to read the comments again, and I'll fall asleep myself. Plunder. Okay, that's probably a good brand. And these are definitely genuine pearls. This is leather. Pearls and leather. Gosh. People have been asking for pearls and leather, and I've been getting some and selling it just as fast as I get it. This is cool. Plunder, guys. It's magnetized. And these are all leather straps that looks like brass or copper there. The black and the black one has real pearls in it, and they're so pretty. Look how big they are. You just sit and eat. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I do that, too. I already had my ice cream today. See? It's just awful. But we are officially on vacation. Summer vacation has begun. So, got off to a great start, though, didn't we? With the COVID and the riots and oh my goodness gracious this is an awesome bracelet guys i'm going to um make sure it's working because it's supposed to snap i think it does it may have to snap because it came off kind of easily but it does have grooves and it's awesome i really like it i'll make sure it's working right here's a silver bangle nice condition 93 people here 38 people have put the thumbs up those of you who haven't, you just have to leave the chat for a second, guys. Go over by the screen. There's a couple of thumbs over there. And if you'll hit the one that's pointing up, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you must do the thumbs down, believe me, the hate energy comes through anyway. And I feel it. I feel it. And it's okay. It's okay. This is awesome. I like this. I like things that are just like, I don't know, like a prom after prom party, you know, when it, things get a little messy. That's what it reminds me of. But it's really cute. And it's gold tone, beautiful color still in it. Rhinestone still there. The crown is just falling off that prom queen a little bit. But it looks good. Still nice. Let me take it to the water. All right. Here we go. A silver tone earring. Ooh, this one's cute. Kind of an antiqued bangle. I like the bangles when they're nice. Ooh, look at these. These are the exotic kind. The South Asian kind. These are 
I have a few of these guys that are really tiny, like little kids. They're so pretty. And they make that pretty sound. Can you hear it? Very nice. All right. What is this? A cute bracelet. The wood ones. Look at that. That is cool. I almost thought that was like a little a rivet or something that it had to be screwed in. That's so cute, guys. That's a nice bracelet. Wood. Pretty colors. Primary colors. How nice. Some green in there, too. I like that. That's going in the hippie lot, too, possibly. On this one, but you get the gist. It's supposed to be like a rose quartz color, but it's very cute, though. And rose quartz is heavy, so if you're sensitive to, you know, things around your neck, sometimes acrylic works best for us. Very nice. All right, let's fill out. Not a bad jar, guys. Again, this one's only $30. I hope I get some good stuff in this one. Maybe something really interesting will pop out in the next But yeah, $29.99 on this one. Cool. Right, let's move this out of the way a little bit. Is this a brooch? No. Oh, it's a necklace. What is this? Christmas decoration, I think. Oh, somebody made a brooch. I'm telling you. Creativity here. <laughs> this is this is so interesting. I can't tell if this was a puzzle piece at one time or what. It's made out of wood. It's got some chirps and some pearls. Letter R on it and keys and hearts. And I don't know, is it supposed to say something? Does it look like a letter or anything? Or is it just an abstract design? That is so interesting. There's that alarm of mine. Okay, let's see what else popped out of here. Okay, now didn't we just get one something like this the other day? In the tortoise shell? But look, this one does have a jump ring. The other one didn't. The other one had like splits. This is pretty. This is also a leopard print, some kind of animal print. This is in the black and white. Boy, that one's big. This one's, it's kind of cool. I like it and it's very lightweight. The other one had little slits in it and you could just open each one. That's very interesting that we get another one from another store. All right, you got a purple watch. Nice color. All the rhinestones are still there. It's from Doris. Probably just a little generic brand from the mall or something. A key ring from Fidel or something. ASPPA. -A I don't know. Financial group, I guess. And what is this? Oh, that's pretty. Look at this gold tone bangle. Kind of an antiqued. Needs a cleaning, but it doesn't look like it has much wear. That's pretty. Kind of a bamboo design. Yeah, I like that. Those are some nice bangles popping out of there. Now, fashion jewelry, Korea. That must be vintage. That's pretty. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Look at that. That looks like the real deal. And it's all still intact, too. Very nice. A ring. Fashion ring with some faux turquoise. Very nicely made, I might add. Very weighty. Probably a copper base. There it is there. Let me see who else popped in. Hi, Mary. How are you? Glad you're here. We're trying to stay safe, staying indoors. I haven't gone anywhere. Do hippie lots do good? Well, they do for me because people usually tell me I want a hippie lot when they hear me say that. And then they've ordered them and they like them. And I just throw mostly like, you know, those shells and corded things and beaded things and what I used to call love beads, anything with multicolored stones. 
Oh, thank you Tell for me, Miss Smith. I appreciate that. All right. Love the plunder. Enjoying Reese's miniature <laughs> cups while watching. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I didn't get to order the chocolate, but um, we did rediscover this ice cream place that makes their ice cream on, 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 whatever, on the premise, right? Oh, so good. I have to stop, though. I'm not going to let him go tomorrow. He's going to want to go get some tomorrow. Nope, nope, nope. This is broken. It'll have to be reattached there, but it's pretty. It's a nice piece. Cook at home, though, so sometimes I feel good when I do that. I feel like, you know, like a little bit healthier. Oh, my goodness, look at that horn. Ooh, what do you think this is? Very interesting. I don't think it's ivory. I don't see Schrager lines. But it could be bone. These are wood. Oh, I'd like to put that on a gold chain. That'd be pretty. I wish it was hanging this and attached right there. That would look, that's my ideal. That's nice though. I don't know what it is, guys. It almost looks like cobblestone setting or something, honestly. And it does have a, an organic feel to it. Wow, this is a long chain too. Look at this. Unpeeled bananas. <laughs> this thing would probably go over your neck like three times, maybe even four. Look at that. Wow. Unpeeled bananas. Okay. <laughs> Here's a pretty watch. This is some tortoise shell, faux, faux tortoise shell. And I don't know what it says. Quartz, it says at the bottom. Doesn't say anything at the front. Nice clamper style. These are pretty. <laughs> You've been wa watching the uh, wild animal shows. I love those too. My grandson on, um, on was it on Netflix? No, it's on the new Disney thing, and it was monkeys. It was so cute and fun to watch. This is a beautiful bracelet too, guys. This is mesh gunmetal on the inside, and we watched it probably three times. He was imitating and mocking not only the animals, but the people, too. He already memorized all the lines. Oh, this is cute. So that was a fun one. I forgot the name of it. But it was really cute, and it shows the monkeys breaking into a birthday party. And, I mean, it was just funny. It's like a documentary style. This is gorgeous. I love that. It's kind of a smoky topaz color, smoky quartz, they call it now. I still call it smoky quartz. Very nice and weighty, too. They do feel like glass. This is awesome. I like that. Here's a pretty bangle. This one has something in it, though. Maybe another bangle. Or maybe it goes in there. Yeah, it probably had something in there. I don't know. No, maybe not. Okay, here's another bangle inside of it. And then this one. Lightweight. Nice color. This really looks like the color of alpaca. Or if you shine it up, it'll look nice. And here's another one. Kind of a brass color. And what else do we have? Oh, this is a cute watch. What? Has a fleur-de-lis. Has some diamond cut markers. Has some little rhinestones or something sparkly in there. Has some gunk in the back. But, oh, it's got a nice little opening, too. Look at that. It's fancy. This looks like a fancy watch. I kind of like it. Yeah. And it's um, kind of a rolled, also on the Roman numerals. That's pretty. Some of these watches are so amazing. I'm putting them aside and trying to get some batteries for them. Because we ran out of batteries. These are gold tone. Here's an orange one. What in the world is this? Don't want to pull it up if it's tangled at the bottom there. Oh, look at this one. This one's acrylic. 
Hey, Sanja and Kimberly. Very cool. Gunmetal chain on that. Then, ooh, these earrings are cute. Very cool. These are silver tone in the middle there on that design. Then the chains are rose gold. Super cool. Oh, I hope we get the match to that one. Of course, we do get all the bags. That's another reason I get all the bags, because I've learned not to leave them. Then the other pieces in the other bag, many times. And I'll never forget one time I found some 14 karat gold. One 14 karat gold. And this was like three years ago. And then I told my husband, I've got the other ones in the other jar. He said, why didn't you get all of them? I was like, I don't know. He said, well, you better go get them tomorrow. Well, I went back. Of course, they were gone. So that 14 karat gold is wrap gold. That's 14 karat gold. This is pretty. I like the bright color on it. Statement piece. So yeah, that happens. Another ring, same one, a little different. It looks like we they threw in a slew of these. Here's another one. And they're all different. <laughs> Look at that. That's so funny. They're so yellow, they look like 22 karat gold. Greetings from Canada, Savella. How are you? Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, definitely good summer colors. Oh, look at this. Charming Charlie. This Charming Charlie has tiger eye. Nice. Let's get this earring out of here. You want a seven pound bag, Jessica? Oh, cool. Well, I hope you do well on it. We'll be watching. That's a lot. That's what those other ones have been averaging, about seven pounds. I even got one for nine from the Goodwill. But they're, those are the ones that are $80. So, yeah. they're. But like I said, I keep thinking they're selling their individual earrings that are nothing to, nothing to write home about, honestly. They're just super plain with three little beads on them or something. And they sell them for $4 right there on the rack. They're the ones that are like, you know, made in China or whatever. So I figure I'll find something, at least seven things worth $10. Or eight things worth $10. Of course, I did get some on a discount the other day. This one has Jasper and Tiger Eye. And look at the pretty earrings. This looks like a vintage Charming Charlie's, like long ago, maybe 10 years ago. Right? These are made nicely. These are real Tiger Eye. Gold tone chains and Jasper here. Don't have the price anymore, but nice. This is a nice set. And look at that main faceted one there. And this is genuine. That's a really nice one. That's definitely worth over $10. Okay, we've got some big earrings. We've got a stretchy. This is acrylic with silver tone, kind of like a faux bench bead there. You spent 35 That's a really good deal. I spent 30 on this jar that I'm doing right now. But the ones that I got before, and then I still have a couple of, I've spent 80 on them. It's a nice little memory. Coil bracelet, acrylic. I don't know where to pick from here, guys, because I don't want everything to get all tangled up, but that's inevitable, so I'll just pick wherever. Is it Rebecca? No, Robert Roseville. I don't know what that is. That's what this is here. It's just a bead necklace with a... Um, oh, it's got a little girl or doll or something. She's cute. She's like a little stick figure or something on a beadball chain. She is new with her tag. Roselle is what it says on the tag. Fashion jewelry, boho. Okay, this is boho. Boy, that's a term used way too much, don't you think? 
no longer means what it really means. Because this is not boho. <laughs> it's super cute, though. She's got heels and uh, a really sparkly jacket or vest there, dress. A purse. She's cute. That's a super cute pendant. I like it. Yeah, definitely. This is not boho. <laughs> Sometimes people call things boho and I mean, I want to say, you mean ugly? Not that boho is ugly, but it seems like anything that like is not their taste, they'll call it boho. I'm like, okay. <laughs> this is cute. This is Casio. Nice. Nice Casio watch. Good condition. Not running. So this is one I'd like to put a battery on. I love white watches. They switched that now. You can't do that anymore. Because too many people and saying, go go subscribe, go to my channel, da, da, da. And for some reason, YouTube doesn't. Ooh, look at this one. So you have to just um, name, write it down, and then go to the channel and subscribe. This is like an inlay of Mother of Pearl abalone. And I don't know what the sparkly stuff is in there, but that's a pretty earring. It appears to be a sterling hook. Does not look like a common stainless steel, but I will have to check that. Okay, a ring. This is another finals. <laughs> another fun ring for a man. It says finals on it. It's got a baseball. And what else? Some um, Brighton? No. CC, I guess. It says double C on it somewhere and quartz. A little worn on that one. This is some kind of a hoop or I don't know. I don't know how to be earrings. I don't think these are earrings when they have a hook like that. They they're for something else. I just don't know what. Okay, let's see what's over here. A tortoise shell with some rhinestones and a big thick chain. Another gentleman's ring here. This one has a diamond, a rhinestone diamond. Boy, that's a lot of rings in there for men. And oh, this is cute. This is thought to be the cutest one I've ever seen. A little whimsical decor glass. They're always so serious with their hearts and stuff. That's really pretty. <laughs> that one's cute. Another watch. This one's in good condition too. What does this say? P.S. Design or something like that. It doesn't feel like a very expensive watch. It's kind of lightweight. Very cool. And I think we had this earring. Yeah, so we got some matched earrings already. But I think this one's missing a stone. Yeah, because this one has a black stone and then no other stone. So we'll have to put that in the crafter lot. Okay, here's a map. This is cool. World map. Copper base. Or it may just be colored copper. It doesn't really look like genuine copper to me. Very, very cool. Nice pendant there. What did I draw? Oh, a bracelet. Let me pick that up. A Girl Scout bracelet? Wow. Vintage. Look at that. Girl Scout stuff does well on eBay, guys. I have an old uniform I've been wanting to sell, and then my daughter said she wanted the, was it the dress? I don't know what it was she wanted to wear. So I haven't listed it, but everything from the sash with the patches do well, and I have never seen anything like this. This is probably from the 60s or 70s. 
awesome. That's a cool find. That might pay the, the bag. May just pay for the bag. We shall see. Thanks again for hitting that thumbs up, guys. And if you're new and haven't subscribed, there is a subscription click button. It's kind of a rectangle. Just go over there and click it. It is a free subscription. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> people think it's actually you have to pay, and you don't. So that's why I mention it. Because some people are new to YouTube, and they don't know all the ins and outs. All right, I think one of these stones, I don't think that would be open, but I don't know. It has three open circles. Maybe. doesn't look bad. doesn't look bad. So it may just be the design. Here's a nice coil. Pearls. I do indeed, Miss Kathleen. If you guys see anything you're interested in that you haul or that you just have a question about, my email always appears in my description box. So just send me an email uh, telling me what you saw. Maybe send me a picture, timestamp or something. Or if you're just in interested in a beadlot or a brooch lot or anything like that, let me know and we can talk about a transaction over on my email, which is thelmahords at gmail.com. And like I said, it's always listed right here in the description box. I also do auctions on Facebook every Saturday at 5 central. This is broken. See, like, this is going to go in a beadlot because one of them is broken. So I'm going to roll it all up, put it in a plastic bag, and start building another beadlot because I just sold one at my auction. And I already have the, this one halfway filled. It's a big old giant jar, like in an old jewelry jar when these jars, these things would actually come in jars. Okay, now we're getting repetition on the rings. I think we have about six. So yeah, most definitely I sell bead lots and craft lots and jewelry lots and grab bags. This one's cute. Very cute. These are so much more durable than your stretchies, huh? The stretchies are very popular too. They're usually made very nicely. Nice beads. All right, this is the toggle bracelet. Someone made this with some bugle beads. That's an interesting bead, guys. You know, these are, they almost feel like rubber. And then the pink ones, the blue ones, feel like acrylic. And here's another statement piece with an earring stuck on it. This one's pretty. Very nice color, kind of like the color of root beer. Here we go, thinking about. I don't know why my battery says it's not charged when I'm plugged in. It's so crazy. Very cool. Okay. Look at this mess. There's a lot of green threading going through there. I hope I can pull it out. I hope so. How's the weather over there? We've been getting crazy thunderstorms. My husband said there's a hurricane in there. You heard of that? Or somewhere. That's what he said. He's a weather watcher. Okay, it came out. Awesome. I'm not going to untangle that mess, but I am going to show you the pendant. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry that happened to you, Miss Robin. Oh, that is so awful. That happened to me one time, too. Several times, actually. <laughs> I've probably been in a hit and run like three times. But I think one of the going on the freeway and this guy side swap side swipe me with his big old pickup truck and oh i was so mad i started chasing him <laughs> on the freeway like a bull and then i finally pulled over and called the police or i was calling the police while we were chasing while i was trying to get his license plate that's all i wanted to do and they said don't chase the car <laughs> 
like, okay. <laughs> but it is so, it is such a violation. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm glad that the videos help. Did I crow glass again, guys? Yeah. And then they got his license and all of that and nothing ever came of it. <laughs> I don't even know what they do, you know. Nothing ever came of it. My insurance paid for my stuff and I don't even know if they contacted him. It's just a shame. There's a hurricane in the Gulf. There you go in Campeche that may move into the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, the Bay of Campeche, right? Gulf of Campeche. This one's cute too. They did a good job with these little coil ones. I like the colors. Nice earth tones on this one. Very nice. Okay, I saw this butterfly and I have to pick her up. What in the world? She's a little... Where does she go, guys? Is she just a pendant, right? Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. She's wood. You have... <laughs> it just... It's like anger gets the best of you, I know. And the policeman was like, ma'am, please don't do that. <laughs> please pull over and we will meet you at the next stop and go or whatever it was. But do not go after that truck. And I was like, okay. But I did finally get his license plate. Yeah, sometimes. I don't know. Anger gets the best of you. It's just violation. Oh, it really is. This is a beautiful pendant, guys. I would love that on a short choker. I think that would look so pretty. Or maybe it with a little rubber or leather cord on that. That would be cute. It'd have to sit against the neck. Because see how it's almost curved up and everything? So it wouldn't, I don't think it would look good hanging too low. They got hit. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm crazy, Kathy. That's what I am. I'm crazy. Crazy gets the best of me sometimes. It really does. Change that because I'm too old to be crazy. I'm too old to be crazy. I was telling my husband that the other day. <gasps> Look how cute this is. Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. Oh, I love this style. Nice. Purple. This is prong set. Enameled. Very cool. I am so surprised it doesn't have a maker on it. That is so pretty. That'd be really pretty on my daughter. With her super short Everything looks good on her. I was telling her, every earring looks good on you because I found these earrings. Oh, I didn't get to show them to you. I took them off. But they're um, beadwork. Oh, my gosh. They're so amazing. I said, you need to wear these. They would look so cute. Look at this. A llama. Cool jewelry elements. I think I've seen this brand before. $7 for the planet. Yeah, I've seen this. This is a bracelet, guys. This looks like Chalcedony could just be glass but it's so so cute it's a little llama and she's wearing like a little argyle sweater or something what do they call those sweaters that are knit from uh, from llama and alpaca alpaca are they called argyle i forget because they have their own style over in peru their own style of knitting oh i love it that is super cute super cute more coils we have a blue one here we have a green one. Oh, I like the green one. It's pretty. All of these are cute. They did a great job. And they're small. I can send some of these to my granddaughter. Because they'll fit me, but they'll fit her too. So they'll look cute. I may just have to leave that green one on now. It's kind of cool. Okay. That's that. Let's see what else is over here. Looks like I see more fish. Oh. Let's see what's in the fish. This one's silver. And, oh, look at this. Like little branches. This is a cool bangle. Does not open. Very heavy. Weighty. Oh, I like that. Little branches intertwined. Very nice. I like that a lot. Okay. Hi, Annabella. How are you? We are live. Are you live? You're talking to me live right now. If 
you want to catch me live all the time, guys, and you want to know when I go on, hit that notification bell right after you subscribe. That'll activate the notifications, and then you'll know. This is pretty. I appreciate that one, too. Let me see. Oh, look at this green thing. Oh, it's missing a stone, and it's part of this rope thing. So, you know, somebody might call this boho. <laughs> but it's so awesome. Oh, that was beautiful at one time. Look at that. Well, you could take this off and you can make a pendant right there with this. And then you could do one with this one. You could even attach it like that on a long chain. Wow. I like this one. I still got a tag shelfware boston proper this is an expensive brand i've bought their their little track jackets they're so cute they're expensive so that's going crafter lot what a score on that for crafters don't you think beautiful 100 percent boho because someone probably doesn't like it and they don't know what else to call it okay pearls pearls are always appreciated cute what's this not stretch that's a good one it's christmas y'all look how pretty it almost has a little brighten look to it not made as nicely as brighten brighten really has details and i don't know like their metal is excellent but this is so cute anyway it's magnet santa's there with some charms a bell, cabochon red and green, and then these are these are acrylic, red and green too. That is super cute. That is that would make a really cute little choker too. Christmas jewelry is fun. And we have a little cross earring. Mm, another bangle. This one's coming apart though. The little bead thing came off, so I will put that in a crafter lot. And let me see what else is over here. What is this chain? Silver chain here. Black house. I mean, white house, black market. Kind of stationed with um, some links, some bigger links. I think I'll put this in a crafter lot. Has a little wear on that tag and everything, but... I think I told you guys last time, people kind of appreciate the, the chains in their crafter lots. So going in there. Here's a bracelet. This will go in the hippie lot. It's a turtle. It's messed up though. So I may have to go in a bead lot. Yeah, it's a little carved turtle. Some flowers. Wood. But the little cording has to be redone. So I'll put that in a bead lot. These would be some cute beads too. To add to that. Sorry about the shaking, guys. And here's a pendant. This is pretty. I like this design. Oh, that's pretty. I love the way this open work looks. I don't know why. I just do. I think it's so cool. Two-tone, silver and gold there. Put a chain on that and we'll work that. Here's a tiny little bracelet. Also a coil. This looks like a Monet or something. It's got a nice signature on it all over the place. I can see that it says Monet right there. And oh, it's pretty. I love the serpentine look from the 70s and 80s. And I'll mix this with my real gold and no one will know the difference. Because this one's beautiful. It's in excellent condition. Oh my goodness gracious. This is awesome. Look at that. It's got that layered look. Very nice. That is in such good condition. What is that? Six, five. Five chains of serpentine. I believe they call this serpentine. I sure wish it was real gold, but this will do for now. 
I did buy a few of these, though, at an auction. Uh, Donatella's auctions. I don't know if you guys have frequented her auctions, too. She's had some good things in there. She sells a lot of lots for resellers, too, for people who like to resell. But occasionally she'll have one or two pieces of jewelry. D is where I got them from. And I think D's is auctions for you. They kind of alternate channels. That already had that. Oh, look, we got a rose quartz bead. That would be cute on a sterling silver chain all by itself. Nice cold. Put that in the bead lot. We got a few earrings that get matched up, but like I said, I did buy all four bags that day. So I'm hoping that they're in the other ones. And we did get this thing here. So I'm not losing hope on all of these earrings yet. They may show up soon. Got a few more pieces here, guys. I don't want to run out of battery either. I don't know why it's telling me I'm out of battery when I'm plugged in. This is heavy faux tortoise shell, silver tone, long chain on that. 30 inches long on that. And we have a tangled here, a tangulation here. These always do it too. But I want to sew fish. Okay, this is a bracelet. Nice. Nice gold tone bracelet. Burgundy color. Mm, kind of a peach color. Pretty. Oversized um, toggle there. It's a nice piece. That's really nice if people like to wear gold tone. I do. A... I don't know. I think this is a sorority house, maybe. I don't know. Possibly sorority or fraternity or something. I couldn't read all those on there. Here's an earring. Wow. <laughs> it's so funny how these get stuck together. The hook is inside, and then this was on the outside. That's an interesting earring. Really big and long and yellow and white. And no match so far on that. And then this is a cross with rhinestones. Pretty. A little wear on that. It's gunmetal, so it doesn't really look bad. Because it's kind of gunmetal. It almost looks like it. Um, definitely a boho earring. <laughs> it almost looks like it's supposed to be that way. Kind of with added patina. This is another earring. This is a pretty hoop. I love the dangle hoops. But no match yet. And then this is a big tangle right here. But this fish is so cute. This is the one I'm interested in right now. This little hoop. Is it broken? Okay. Here's the other hook. Let me get this out of here. Thanks again, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. I appreciate it very much. What in the world happened there? I cannot tell what happened here. Stop getting in my stuff. Uh, it's, is that a fish? Almost looks like a face. I think it is a fish. If you look at it like this, it looks like an alien face or something. Okay. I think it's broken. How does this go? What is it? Look at this. I have no idea. And then it's got a dolphin there. You guys are going to have to school me on this one because I don't know. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in a beadlock because those little fish are super cute. They would make great earrings. I don't know what they were doing here. Other, it's chains with two hooks. Oh my goodness. That is so funny. What do you guys think? How would it? How, I don't know. Okay, we'll just put that aside. Put in a bead lot. This is the orange one. I think an earring is stuck on this one. We may have gotten the match on this earring. Maybe not. I don't see it. Oh, that might be the same one I showed you earlier. This is orange and white. And who's it from? New York. I kind of knew it. <laughs> Sometimes you've seen this jewelry so many times, you start to know the designer or the brand. 
just by the style or the colors or the chains. I don't know. Okay, it's a tangled mess. It's long. I'll have to uh, untangle that later. It's really tangled up. Let me see. Yeah, this is going to take us all night. Oh my goodness gracious. And it's probably double. It's probably a double layer. So we'll just put it, let you see how it looks. Maybe even a triple. Nice colors. Very, very nice. And then the blue one is pretty much the same thing. But there's another blue one in there. Is it broken? Okay, here's a real illusion one with the wire. This one's cute. These look like real gemstones in there, guys. Yeah, they do. They look like Chalcedony, maybe Adventuring, and Amethyst. But I'm going to take a loop to them. They're cute. Now that's kind of boho, too. And then here's the big, long blue one, which is in the same condition as the other. These are all acrylic. These are pretty, though. These are cat eyes here. See how they have that little glow inside? Those are called cat eyes. As opposed to tiger eye, which I showed you earlier. This was the tiger eye in the brown. See, we had a little lesson. We had it all today. <clears throat> we had my rant in the, in the beginning. <clears throat> we talked about so many things today. I was glad to be able to talk to you and make it a nice chatty video so I could annoy some people who don't like chatty videos. And those that do like them, I could entertain them. And those that don't, well, they just have to, um, they'll have to watch anyway, right? And Because they want to see jewelry. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm silly. But what else was I going to say? Oh, but I will bring you one face-to-face because -face somebody requested that. So I'm going to bring some of those, even though other people hate those. And then I may even do some recorded ones, even though some people hate those. But like I was telling my daughter, you can only do what you do and do again and again. And if they like it, they like it. And if they don't like it, they don't like it. Did I get it? Oh, my goodness gracious. Did I get a super chat? Miss Dawn, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Be tangled live and try not to toss it to the wall. I know. I'll have to do that. I can't wait to open another one of those bags that has a big ball. I was actually, I actually like that big ball. We kind of had fun. We kind of had fun together. We sat there for six hours and untangled it, my husband and I. I was a little disappointed because the two that I brought home that day, I thought one of them would be the same and it wasn't. Thank you so much for that super chat. I really do appreciate it. And thanks for the hundred so people that were here. Those that went and put the thumbs up. Those that went put the thumbs down. Love or hate. It's all energy, guys. And I appreciate it so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful, what is it, Thursday tomorrow already? Have a wonderful Thursday and your weekend. Stay safe and uh, stay blessed. Bye. Thanks again.